My Beef A scooter is almost ready to go to the MOT. The last part that is still missing is the side panel. And what I'll do with it so that the scooter gets through the MOT, that's what I'm going to show you today. The problem with the BFA engines is that they are slightly wider, so I needed slightly wider side panels as well. That's why I got this GRP side panel from PLC, and the painter did an awesome job replicating the original design. I also asked the painter to insert an additional GRP plate down here to seal the space behind the shock absorber. That's because I wanted to insulate the side panel wherever I can, so that it produces as little noise as possible and gets through the MOT. But for now, we'll start with something else. Unfortunately, the base of the side panel was a side panel which was intended for lock levers. Because of that, there is no hole at this place where the hook from the side panel holder comes through, and even worse, there is no reinforcement. So, now I drilled a hole and made a small sheet, which I'm going to screw against it. That way it's reinforced and not going to fall off. I'll assemble that now. All right, I hope everything fits. What's missing next? You can see the indicator is pre-assembled. The problem is though that this is a GRP side panel and GRP conducts electricity pretty bad. Because of that, the ground cable has to be screwed on. That's really cool with this angle because here's a nice ground cable let out already. I can do that easily, but that means drilling a hole again. I'm going to drill a hole at this height. Then I can screw the ground cable on and it's connected to the metal of the indicator again. We have toothed block washers here, which I can also screw a little bit in the sheet. That's always good when you need to ground something. I'm going to use a self-locking screw nut as well, so that it stays in place. Whew, this is one safe screw nut. Difficult to screw on, but now it's tight. Now I'll test if the ground works. For that, I'll get a multimeter. It's good here, there too, there too, there too. Everything's great and can stay like this. All right, but I don't just need ground, I also need a positive pole. That means the contact for the indicator has to come in here. I'm going to remove that quickly from the old side panel. Well, it seems I have used a self-made construction in the old side panel. <laughs> I'll be right back. See you. Look at this. I've got the part from LML because the indicators that are installed are also LML. But now this, that's on the LML indicator, that's on the LML indicator cable. Although, you can maybe put it in and hit it with a hammer to make it fit. I have no idea. I'll stick it through first and then I'm going to look if I still have such a part. If not, I really have to improvise that it passes the MOT, or that I can drive at least, and get a connector later. Now, I'm going to lay the cable, and for that I'm going to use these little sheet metal clips here, that hold the cable. I'll just bend them. At first loose, and tight later. Unfortunately, our connectors in the workshop have run out, so I have to improvise a little and put on the correct connectors later. I'll use a little bit of insulation so that it holds well together. And a little touch of the hot air dryer. So can I just go? All right, it can go like that for now, and I'll fix it up later. That's not working how it should. I'm quickly going to measure if my contact works. Now I can put that on the contact here and here and just hope that it beeps. It beeps, great. Good, that works too. Then we will get to the most important task for Then we slowly get to the most important task for today. I would like the scooter to be quiet and the loudest sound comes from the membrane of the carburetor. 
von der Membran von vom Vergaser. In that case from the intake side and that side sits under the side panel. Und wir haben Luckily, we have some really cool products in our product portfolio to insulate side panels and to reduce noise. That's what I want to do now. Mein Problem ist ein bisschen, was ich hier habe. Da das eine GFK -Backe As it's a GRP side panel, and I don't have much experience with what I can stick on GRP, I have to check what works best first. But first, I'll show you what I mean. We have two different kinds of insulation mats, and we have them in different strengths too. Uh, this here is an insulation mat that is pre-cut for the PX side panel. Mine is a bit wider, so it will probably not exactly fit, but I have to look at that in a minute. And this is a universal insulation mat. With that, I'll try to fill the space behind the engine. First, I'll unpack the mats and have a look how they fit in. This is pretty neat. They are toothed, and you can put them together so that they fit in right later on. Of course, they weren't constructed for a BFA engine and for the space there. You can see that it's actually really cool and fits very well. I haven't installed them myself yet, but as you can see, that's a good idea. Because it fits right in here, there is a gap for the bracket. That's actually really awesome. Now I just have to properly stick it on because I've taken the thick version and I would want to test if that still works with my BFA engine. But first, I'll put the rubber for the side panel on so that I have the right distance and don't scratch anything. And then I'll just try if this fits. Don't underestimate such a rubber for a side panel. It adds up a little bit. And of course that is problematic again because the gap is measured for a thin sheet metal. And I have the thin sheet metal plus GRP. Now I still need a hole in the rubber and there are special tools with which you can do holes like that. But there is also a trick on how to make such a hole. By simply taking a screw and a screw nut and pushing both through the vise. If everything works the way I imagine, you'll have a nice hole afterwards. Let's see if it worked. The screw nut is at least somehow inside. The screw is through as well, and there is a hole in it. That worked better than I thought it would. It's nice when something works in front of the camera. Maybe I was a little too afraid of the screw size, but it worked anyway. It still holds up, so I'll quickly put it on. Unfortunately, my hood still requires a bit of rework, but it fits. And it also fits with the insulation material. Of course, you can't see much because I tried to get it all sealed up tight and that worked out pretty good. So now I can take it off again and stick the things together. Exactly. I already roughened the surface. I have to be careful now, because these adhesive pads stick really, really strong. So I'll try to take one at a time, stick it on, and then move on to the next. I'll start with this piece. I'm not sure if this method works, but I just can't think about a better one right now. Here's a part that you can take out to reach the screw underneath. I'm curious, if I get it right, to position such a large part. So far, this is going better than expected. Since my side panel is a bit bigger than an original PX panel, 
I have to deal with a little bit of play, and it's not 100% positioned as I actually wanted it to, but I guess that's all right. What's also neat is that this cutout here sits exactly above the fan wheel, so that there is enough airflow for cooling. What you can see here, the area around the indicator is of course not insulated yet as well. That's because it doesn't exist in the original side panel, but is a special construction for me instead. I'll take care of that in a minute. And we'll use the universal insulation mats to seal the last spaces and make sure that the sound won't be reflected here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'll transfer that to my universal adhesive pad. I need a pen for that. Now it looks similar to what I have measured. I just hope that it will not stick before I position it right, but we'll see. All right, that looks pretty good. It's not only nice, but I hope it also helps me to get MOT and make the scooter quieter. Let's put the side panel on. And let's test how the whole thing sounds. Everything seems to be working now. It breaks, it changes gears, the lights and indicators work, so the last thing that's missing now is MOT. I think the scooter is pleasantly quiet, that's why I'll go to the noise measurement next and hope that it's all MOT compliant and that I can register the scooter as soon as possible. That's it for today. If you liked it, subscribe and hit the bell. See you soon. Ciao.